talking to the angel, as we like to call it. Did you have a question, gentle visitor? That's an interesting way to put it, friend. We prefer to think of it as recycling or as communion. Well, it's not something we like to talk about, since it seems to upset first-time visitors to the angel, but no, I don't deny it. It is a sacred part of our tradition, and something that brings us all closer together. Well, symbolically, we have shared the body of one of our brothers or sisters, making us all one. And, uh, pragmatically, it makes anyone who's participated in the ritual complicit and helps keep them quiet about it when there are strangers around. We hold an execution once a month, gentle questioner, the sacrifice chosen from among our own. Whoever among us has most failed to uphold the rules of the sacred book, they are taken to the commons and killed for their sins and ours. The sacrifice is a catharsis, helping to clear the petty tensions that build up amongst us every month. It is also a way to keep everyone on their toes. They know they must always be on their best behavior, or they might be next month's sacrifice. Would it be more polite just to bury them? I think not. For the good of our society, we must kill one of our own every month. Should we just throw the body away like it was trash? No, that would be wasteful and disrespectful. Instead, we use every usable scrap of it to feed our people, thereby honoring the dead and giving our otherwise vegetarian population some much needed meat. That is why we call it courtesy meat, because we do it as a courtesy to the executed so that they know their death will have had meaning and worth. If you read the Bible, we are literally sharing the body, and in doing so, we grow closer to one another. Besides, we only eat the rude and the unwanted. Everyone has a chance to avoid this fate. If we stop eating this divine gift, what would we eat? Lizards? Chicken? That's disgusting. Now, if we knew where to get some cows, that might be a different story. We'd be happy to trade for those. There's a note of intent to trade for cattle. It bears my own John Hancock. If you find an appropriate vendor, give him this in return for a sample of his herd. The Mannerite word is thoroughly trusted in the area. Yes, a shepherd, rancher, or herder who can supply us with a steady stock of meat would profit greatly from trade with the Oracle. Yes, Fletcher will be executed when you return him. Civility doesn't enforce itself, you know. Our gracious progenitor responded to every question with an appellation of her interlocutors, gentle. Thus, we emulate her. We scratched our home out of the wasteland and civilized the savages who lived here. I'm afraid I need to hold on to my limited supplies. You see, I'm quite fond of my cats and they do appreciate a fresh litter, almost as much as I appreciate a slice of fresh toast. It is impossible to be a good host without toast, and because of this, I have been haunted by failure. The cook says the heating element is partially worn out, so he can't make toast without burning half the bread. I've already asked the salvage teams to keep an eye out for heating elements, but so far, no luck. Let's see it. The color is a nice golden brown, but the texture is completely wrong. Far from perfect, but I do appreciate the effort. Please take this and spend it wisely. That is good news. Rhodia is known for their large reserves of ammunition, something we are always in need of here at the Angel. Tell the mayor that we are interested in his offer and that we will be contacting him soon. Yes, yes, he's told me this before, but he's given me no proof. It's a theory, not fact. 
I won't believe it until he has proof. Rob? No. Is this true? You're lying to me. It's impolite to lie. I... No. You're not lying. I've denied it for too long. The rise in... odd behavior. The disappearances. I put it down to tensions between us and the Robinsons, but now... All right. Traditions can change if change is inevitable. The courtesy meet will stop, I promise you. I understand Sheriff Marshall has promised you access to the radio if you return our erstwhile prisoner. I hope that offers sufficient motivation. My guest here? I've quite forgotten his real name, and I feel it would be rude to ask him again. It's embarrassing, really. Well, not so much rude, but more effort than I'm willing to expend on one so... uncivil. Farewell, gentle rangers. There are no depths to his spirit. Only shallows. Attention, gentle citizens. The Desert Rangers have brought to my attention disturbing health concerns regarding our traditional courtesy meat. Therefore, consumption of courtesy meat shall cease until further notice. Good day. Drugstore and Lunchnet is the oldest, finest, happeningest place in town. If you want a belly full of burgers, fries, and good old apple pie, if you want an eyeful of the world's most beautiful girls and boys, then turn your feet towards Schwag.
Gentlemen, are you ready? Your machines are in working order? Excellent, thank you. Then we will commence. Gentle friends, 
It is our sad but sacred duty this day to once again make an example of one of our own. Fletcher was a good man, a well-loved man, but sadly, also a man who did not live up to the standards of hygiene and deportment that make the Angel Oracle the most beautiful, most pleasant community in the Los Angeles area. For this reason, Fletcher must die so that others may benefit from the lesson of his mistakes. Now, let us begin. And please, no interruptions, or the civility enforcers may be forced to be uncivil. Mr. Manners, we have a dilemma. Then speak, gentle questioner, and I will try my utmost to advise you. Thank you, Mr. Manners. My question is this. What can we do with a guest or family member who refuses to abide by the rules of our house? Why, gentle questioner, let us consult the book. Gentle questioner, the book is adamant. We let the guest or family member know in no uncertain terms that they are no longer welcome in our home. And what is the best way to do that, Mr. Manners? My solution is an illustration, gentle questioner, of the conflicting desires that tear the rude soul apart. So we should tear this guest or family member apart, Mr. Manners? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. We must tear them apart. Start the engines. I'm so sorry, gentle interrupter. What is so important that you had to barge into the middle of our service? An execution and we must attend to it. The prisoner is not going to keep forever. Mr. Fletcher is accused of slovenliness, ill manners, and failure to comply with repeated requests to reform. We gave him another chance, and he did not take it. You, do you have a reason for mentioning that? I cannot believe Elizaveta would use me in this way. I am... I am betrayed. Oh, this feels worse than the time I ate with the wrong fork. Please excuse me, Rangers. I have a speech to make. Gentle spectators, I have received word from these gracious Rangers that Citizen Fletcher was framed for the crimes he was about to be executed for an attempt to get me to execute him unjustly so that his death could be used against me. Well, the person who framed him is none other than Tory Robinson, who wanted to bring me down and take my place. That is the height of rudeness, and I therefore decree that Tory should take Fletcher's place in the manacles. Free Fletcher, bring me Tory. Fuck this noise! Let's get out of here! If Tori goes, oh, yeah, oh, screw oh, this! Too. Good job! The time they, they left. long overstayed! They're welcome! Listen, Rangers, I can't allow Tori to continue to plot against me. Perhaps you could meet me in my quarters? Attention, gentle citizens. The main gate shall remain closed until Tori Robinson and her unsavory followers are detained. All citizens are to stay out of the way of our civility enforcers. Those who interfere will be punished accordingly. Good day. behavior, gentle rangers. Execution is a rough business, and you dealt with it well. You have earned the radio, gentle quester. Men, unlock the door. Yes, indeed. Please proceed to the transmitter room where Glenn has. 
Our radio technician, of course. You'll find him over in the transmitter room. I hope you'll be able to make some good use of our radio. A rancher named Curly Bill? Intriguing. May I have the sample he provided? Mmm, smells delicious. Well, a promise made is a sacred thing, Rangers. We will take up beef as our meat of choice from now on. I'm afraid I need to hold on to my limited supplies. You see, I'm quite fond of my cats and they do appreciate a fresh litter. Almost as much as I appreciate a slice of fresh toast. Farewell, gentle rangers. I hope this will lead to the Mannerites being a civilizing influence in this land. Echo One, enemy base, go ahead. Copy Echo One. Seeing a large boost in our range. They must have a strong transmitter. We should be able to reach all of LA and then some. I'll start broadcasting our message. We'll be hitting a lot of ears, so expect an influx of distress calls. Santa Fe base out. <laughs> Are you on the visitor list, gentle visitors? They're okay. Sheriff Marshall put them on the list. Oh, apologies. You're clear to enter Mr. Manners' office. Attention, gentle citizens. 
Our guards report that Tori and some of her accomplices have slipped past our perimeter and are now at large. Citizens will be allowed out the main gate, but the Angel will remain on high alert until further notice. Desert Rangers, your presence is politely requested in the press booth. Good day. Rangers, pardon my hastiness, but the reason I've summoned you is because I have an urgent matter I'd like to discuss. You see, Tori Robinson poses a unique danger to the Angel, and I simply cannot allow her to remain at large. Sooner or later, she'll come back and start barking up our tree. So, what we need is for you to help out the Angel once more by finding Tori and politely extinguishing her life. Of course, if you agree, you will be handsomely compensated. Do we have an agreement? Your aid is deeply appreciated, Rangers. There is an old hideout a few miles away where I, uh, occasionally stay for some private business. I've received a tip from our sheriff that Tory may be heading there. That should be your first destination. Here, I'll mark the location on your map. Please be sure to bring some proof of your deed. There's no need to bring her body. I believe her head should suffice. Farewell, gentle rangers.
Congratulations, Echo.
Congratulations. Gentle trackers, how goes your pursuit? I'm eagerly expecting proof of your success in the matter. I am deeply disappointed in your actions. We appreciate your aid, of course, but we think it would be best if you took your leave from the Angel. Please do not loiter in the Angel too long, or I'm afraid my civility enforcers will have to politely show you the exit. Gentle repairman, I cannot express my gratitude deeply enough. You mentioned a need for cat litter, so please take as much as you desire. As much as I love my cats and enjoy seeing them happy, I must admit that I love toast even more. What's the big deal? Excuse me, I did not mean to raise my voice. I forget not everyone is as civilized as us. Toast opens up so many possibilities for proper etiquette. There's the type of plate one should use, the proper placement, and of course, there's the proper method of eating. Surely you know it is impolite to take a bite from the whole bread. Farewell, gentle rangers. <laughs>